How's it going guys? It's Friday, April 5th, and I got you this week's saltwater video full of fun and interesting fish. Some really cool, wonderful wrasses. Let's get right to it. I think it feels appropriate to both start and end this week on a wrasse. So that's where we're gonna start. But this absolute strange wrasse, I'm gonna be real with you, when I came in and saw this guy, that is something I have just never seen before. This charismatic little fella is a razor wrasse. Very neat species of wrasse. Definitely um, unique looking. I mean, it is very pretty. Just what a face. <laughs> very cool though. Absolutely love it. And speaking of some other cool wrasses, we have beautiful ornate leopard wrasse hanging out right there beside and the gorgeous little cleaner wrasse. So two more really awesome wrasses. And of course, beautiful little yellow goat fish. Nice Laertel Anthias male, beautiful Midas Plenty, and a big gorgeous sailfin. Moving right along, we got another even bigger and chunkier and prettier ornate leopard wrasse. Really, really nice to see. As well as a gorgeous Fiji fox face, a beautiful powder blue tang. Nice one spot fox face, a few female Laertel Anthias. Another one of those gorgeous cleaner wrasses, a six bar angel. And one of my absolute favorites, the adorable copper band butterfly. Really nice stuff. And a little flame hawk hanging around down there. And off in the big boy tank with even more fun rats action, we have the beautiful male green bird rats. Absolutely beautiful. Hanging out with a gorgeous lionfish. Beautiful black trigger. And an adorable little dog face buffer. And in here, where we saw the eight line farrier wrasse last week, we're sitting right there. We also now have a beautiful, exquisite wrasse hanging out in with the black oscillators, the beautiful baby blue hippos, some dispar antheus, a beautiful little sailfin tang, a couple baby blamini tangs, Midas plenties, a whole lot of fun stuff going on. Neon gobies, a beautiful yellow mimic tang, and list supplies of beautiful, beautiful fish. Another look at that gorgeous eight line fairy wrasse. Really nice stuff. And for invertebrates this week, we have a handful of fan favorites, starting with the absolutely adorable horseshoe crab, as well as a ton of nice little emerald crabs, great for controlling things like bubble algae. We have a few sand sifting starfish really great at keeping that sand bed clean as well as of course plenty of blood and cleaner shrimp absolutely love them we actually have some nice little blood shrimp in for once usually these guys come in quite big so nice to see some little ones to start out with and of course who doesn't love a good old pistol shrimp really awesome fun to pair up with a uh, watchman goby Moving right along, we've got this big, beautiful maroon clown who absolutely loves this gorgeous white long tentacle anemone. Always really fun to just see a clownfish anemone hosting situation. Really, really cool. Speaking of really, really cool, we have an absolutely gorgeous banded pipefish in right now. Really cool species. Pipefishes are closely related to seahorses and should pretty much be treated the same, but otherwise, beautiful. An interesting species to look at. Absolutely love them. Hanging out in here with them. It's a handful of adorable little Bengai Cardinals. And a bunch of gorgeous Feather Dusters. Both colonies and individuals. And some really nice big Olive Nassarius snails. Continuing on with the wrasses, however, we have the beautiful four spot yellow chorus wrasse hanging out with a handful of some Ocellaris, an Evil Eye Angel, a beautiful Starry Blenny. You can kind of see darting in and out of the background there. And hanging out in there with them, but not the easiest thing to catch. There you are. Beautiful Mandarin Gobi. Lots of neat stuff. And you can kind of see the Starry Blenny's face there as well. Here's another beautiful Mandarin Gobi here. This one I'm almost certain is a male. Very pretty guy. Hanging out in with this gorgeous Lubbock's Fairy Rass and a few more Ocellaris as well as a big beautiful Sailfin. 
Moving right along as we get close to the end here, we have the beautiful Valentini Pufferfish, gorgeous Flameback Pygmy Angel, and a beautiful Royal Dollyback. And just two more pit spots for our final reveal of some really cool wrasses. We have another wrass in the four spot yellow chorus, a pair of beautiful little gold head sleeper gobies, and some nice, really, really pretty firefish. And in one, one super interesting last stop before the finale, we have an absolutely gorgeous dwarf zebra lionfish. I love when they come in in this size. Really awesome lionfish species, just as pretty as the larger species, but they stay a much more considerable small size, much easier to handle for many people with smaller or medium sized tanks. Absolutely awesome fish, really love these guys. And for our final tank of the week, you may believe that, as usual, I've saved the best for last with the gorgeous male pintail rats, and normally that would be the case. But for once, there's some competition for the throne with one incredibly cool raft that is very rare. That is this gentleman. This is a redhead wrasse, a beautiful wrasse species with a stark green body and a ruby red face, blue trimming around the fins, all around amazing fish that wants to hide behind the text. There we are, absolutely amazing. Very rare fish, almost never see these things. Really, really cool to see. Absolutely thrilled. And like I said, hard to top a pintail wrasse for me, but man, that is, it's getting up there. But you know, credit or credits do. Do love me a good pintail. Absolutely awesome stuff. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and any of our newer local customers looking for anything cool or interesting, like the comically faced, Razor Rats. Feel free to email us at contactexoticquatic.com. We'd love to see if we can get in for you. Till next time.